All right, what is up everybody? I've got kind of a, a wonky setup right here. I don't have a, a mic yet. I'm recording this on my iPhone, but a lot of you guys were asking for vlog style videos. So uh, I guess here we are, we're, we're gonna do some vlogs. Um, it is January 1st of 2024, the start of the first mini cut after a year and a half of bulking, which, you know, it's, it's about time I lose some weight. My face is already super fat. Uh, yeah, I'm 205 pounds for those of you who don't know. I might have to make like a, a separate updated video on how the bulk went. Uh, getting, getting straight into the video today. It is the first day of the mini cut. So it is actually the first time ever that I'm using pre-workout. As you can see, I have my protein's orange paradise pre-workout here. I already measured out 15 grams. That is the serving size, 150 milligrams of caffeine. It is the first ever workout I'm going to be doing with caffeine. So hopefully uh, that goes well. And I guess let's just let's just head to the gym because it is already 2:45. Usually, usually I leave for the gym at like 2:15, but I had a, a busy morning of studying for something I'm studying for. Um, but anyway, I guess today we are just going to do kind of a, a vlog style video in the gym. Unfortunately, I don't have a mic, so I'm not really quite sure how that's going to work. So maybe maybe I'll just do for the first couple of vlog style videos, I'll just record my sets and I guess maybe do like a voiceover over it. And then I'll probably get, you know, an, an actual camera and a good mic and then record my videos like that. But yeah, uh, I got to start sipping on this pre-workout because... Um, I'll be at the, oh my God, I'll be at the gym in 15 minutes. It's good. It's not bad. It's not a bad flavor for sure. It's orange paradise, as I did say. Um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't taste like, I mean, it tastes exactly like, like I expected, just like sort of an orangey drink. I mean, I, I, I didn't really have any extreme expectations there, but yeah, honestly, I've got a 15 minute ride to the gym. I don't know how long this, this intro section is going to be probably, I don't know, a few more minutes if that, and then uh, I'll get to my sets, probably only record my, maybe for the first workout, I'll record like, uh, my actual warm up routine, which is just, uh, some dynamic stretching with a resistance band and some, some arm swings and stuff. Today's a push day, by the way, I didn't even explain that. Uh, it is a push workout. That is the start of the the training cycle. We got a push day, then uh, legs tomorrow, then pull and rest. That is my routine. Push, legs, pull, rest, uh, repeat. Yeah, this camera angle is absolutely terrible now that I look at it. I'm peak bulk, fellas. So we're not going to be looking our best right now. By the end of January, uh, hopefully that is when things start getting crazy. But yeah, I'm going to finish this pre worky uh, head to the gym, probably show you guys uh, what I do. And uh, yeah, I guess enjoy the vlog style content. So, yep. All right, there we go. All right, so welcome to the voiceover section of this video. Uh, quick apologies for the job of the hut angle on that first section of the video. Absolutely terrible. I'm definitely going to need to invest in some sort of car stand or car mount, well, a phone mount for the car uh, because I was using kind of a, uh, it was, it's kind of hard to explain, but I just, I set my phone on, it was a car mount essentially, but it was a terrible one that kind of hooks into the fan. And so the angle is like upwards and it, it just made me look even fatter than I am. So apologies for that. It was, it was pretty hard to edit looking at myself like that. But anyway, um, just wanted to show you guys a quick, uh, quick warm up routine that I do pretty much just arm swings, uh, user resistance bands for, for some stuff. Uh, and yeah, that was, that was pretty much it. Probably, uh, what, what is it? Maybe 15 reps each, 15 to 20 reps of, of each kind of thing that I showed. It takes maybe five minutes at most. Uh, and yeah, that was it. So uh, anyway, moving on to the first set here. So we did, what was it? Three chest exercises and then two shoulder exercises and then a tricep. So this was obviously the first set, uh, first working set. I did three warm ups with one plate, two plates, and then three plates. And then my working set was four plates and 15 pounds. And I believe I got this. Well, I actually have the workout on my phone. I track all of my workouts. Do I have a zit here? I just realized I got a little zit right there. Huh? Interesting. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, I failed on what? The seventh rep, was it? I failed in the middle of the seventh rep. Also, if you are not tracking your workouts, I highly recommend tracking your workouts because it is very essential. Um, 
so that you know how how to actually progress for your next workout and you know if you're actually even progressing during this mini cut i'm probably not going to see too much progress uh, so i'm not really worried about that just just because my calories are going to be so low anyway um, but yeah we got a nautilus chest press machine for the first exercise these were my first two sets um, i dropped the weight by five pounds just to kind of stay with that six to eight rep range and as you can see obviously very slow controlled uh, eccentrics and um, i try my best to keep my elbows tucked in i'm using the neutral grip handles as you can see just because for your chest uh, obviously you don't want a lot of coracal brachialis which is you know um when you kind of flare out your elbows a little bit and you get you know that big kind of stretch or that big you know tension feeling um on the eccentric that's you know that's not actually your chest when you've got your elbows all the way flared out uh, that's your coracal brachialis and obviously to minimize the involvement of that you want to keep your elbows a little bit more tucked in um this uh here is my second exercise we've got a decline press so um the first exercise was obviously for the middle chest as you can see um with the arm path angle uh, being a little bit more perpendicular to the body where this is a little bit more downwards a little bit more for the for the lower chest i did one warm-up set for that and then a working set again in the six to eight rep range most of the exercises you're going to see are the six to eight rep range anyway um but yeah i did one one working set for that and then another one working set. This was actually no warm up for this uh, upper chest press. As you can see, the the arm path is upwards now, angled more uh, towards those upper chest fibers. Uh, honestly, looking at this set back after I after I uh, recorded it, you can kind of see my my arms go down a little bit and point a little bit downwards uh, at the bottom of the movement. Honestly, you want to keep your 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 arms more almost. Uh, at kind of a not not a 90 degree angle almost horizontal so that you know you're not you know bending down because that 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 honestly uh is not adding anything to the movement you're not stretching your chest anymore kind of bending like that so uh could definitely improve on that again taken to failure so we did a total of four sets for the chest this workout obviously the two with the flat press then the seated decline and then the low to high flies and then moving on to the shoulder press this is um on push A, this is the work that I'm doing is push A. I do a front delt machine, uh, whereas on push B, I only do side delts. So this is the only front delt I'll do for the week is just a shoulder press. Obviously, I use the neutral handles as opposed to flaring out a little bit. I find um, obviously keeping your elbows tucked a little bit more in um, keeps you know the front delt uh a, a little bit more uh, engaged and uh yeah push that one to failure as you can see most of the well all of these sets are to failure um but i don't do many partials the only time i'll do partials is if i'm only doing like one exercise for that day which you'll see on the next exercise i do actually but yes this is the second set i did two sets here of uh seated shoulder press the first set uh, also by the way i did three warm-up sets for this exercise i did let's see i did one plate two plates then three plates i'll probably put the the sets including the warm-up sets and the weight on the screen um which i haven't done yet i'm just i'm just watching the video back by the way that's kind of how i'm doing this voiceover uh yeah it's 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 a mess of a video to be honest but um once i once i get a mic it'll probably be a lot more organized to say the least but yes two sets of shoulder press uh, and then we move on to a single lat raise machine. So when you're doing this, um, as opposed to doing both arms at a time, where you're you know standing you know straight on and you're pushing the weight out um, you know 180 degrees from your body, uh, I like to uh, do a single arm one at a time and then take a 45 degree tilt. That way you can actually lift in the scapular plane and translate the weight in the scapular plane. So if you you know were to do this both arms at a time and you kind of stand backwards then you know you're not translating the weight in the scapular plane you're just lifting the weight up and down sure your arms may be 45 degrees at the top but you know you're not actually translating the weight so that's why when you do it single arm and you tilt your body you can see you know the weight is actually translating 45 degrees uh hopefully that makes sense it's a little hard to explain without showing it in a video but um yeah those were i did two sets here for each arm but it was the camera angles i got were a little well were a little funky so i just kind of combined the two sets to show it uh, in one so that was my set with the right arm and yes here is my set with the left arm so i believe this is the first set and and by the way when you're doing single arm exercises i highly recommend resting in between each set so a lot of people what they do is they go you know one 
one exercise or one set with your right arm, then one set with your left arm, you know, immediately afterwards without taking any rest in between. Um, but just like anything, you know, those sets limit you. So what, you know, you need to take rest in between, you know, when you go from your right arm to your left arm, even if it's just, you know, a minute, a minute and a half, you know, just to catch your breath, get, you know, that CNS fatigue all dissipated, and then you can actually start your set fresh. Uh, so that's what I did. It probably, so four sets total from, you know, right arm, rest, left arm, rest, right arm, rest, and then uh, left arm again. So it probably took me, I don't know, 15 minutes for this, um, for just those four sets, two sets each arm. And then, um, yeah, then just to finish off the day, I guess let's just let this play out. We, to, to finish off the day, we just got one tricep exercise here, which is the single arm tricep extension. And I believe uh, the, the camera angles I got here were also a little bit funky, so I did the same thing. This was my first set with my right arm, and then I kind of cut the video at some point, and then I show uh, the second set with my right arm, and then I'll, I'll go on to my left arm again. But uh, yeah, just to, I use actually my, my strap, I kind of plug it in through that loop on the cable, uh, just to so my grip doesn't fail, because I, I find when you kind of grab that, that ball end of the cable, you know, your hand gets a little slippery. Uh, so that's what I did. Um, that's what I found, you know, works a little bit better to, to make sure that, you know, you're using all your tricep and your grip isn't limiting you. So I did uh, two sets each arm there, and that was my only tricep extension, or my only tricep exercise of the day, simply because, you know, this it's, it's a really heavily focused push day, right? I had a lot of pushing movements, you know, four chest sets, um, four shoulder sets, um, and then, yeah, that, you know, your triceps are already pretty toast by that point. So including, you know, a bunch of tricep exercises at the end of a push day, uh, when you've already, you know, pushed and used your tricep on every single exercise, I find it's not necessary. Of course, it is necessary to at least include one tricep, uh, you know, exercise to make sure you're getting that extension and, you know, your tricep is actually the limiting factor as opposed to something else. Um, but yeah, my form got a little sloppy here, honestly. Maybe I'll have to lower the weight. I don't usually record my sets a lot, so I don't, I, I honestly, Honestly, sometimes don't see. Uh, did do some partials there. Again, as I said, this was my only exercise of the day. Uh, so I did some partials uh, for the triceps to really toast them out. <clears throat> and then obviously some posing um, in the locker room just to, to show the physique. Um, so I guess let's see what we're looking like here. The chest, honestly, unfortunately, my, ch my chest genetics aren't the, aren't the best, as you can see. Um, I kind of have, you know, a big gap. But we're peak bulk. We're what did we weigh in at? I think 204.8 this morning. I think my heaviest uh, was 206. You know that was probably after like, you know, Christmas Day when I, I feasted at my grandma's house. Um, but yeah, we we lost a little bit weight, a little bit of weight uh, from that point. And uh, yeah, pretty much 205 starting this mini cut. I guess we'll see where we get to at the end. But yeah, that's the physique. I also did uh, 10 minutes of cardio. I did uh, 10 minutes of stairmaster which I didn't record just because I didn't want to be the guy with a tripod on the Stairmaster for 10 minutes. Uh, but you'll see the clip of that in a, in a second. And then I guess we'll cut to the, the car ride home and uh, I'll end the video. So yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoy this voiceover. Oh my God. All right, I just did 10 minutes of Stairmaster and that might've been the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Um, I almost forgot I was posing. Uh, and then a guy came up to me um, and he was like, oh, I've seen you on TikTok. And I talked to him for a little bit. And then I was like, oh, shit, I have to do cardio. Um, I actually haven't done cardio in the gym. I don't think ever in my five years of training, which I'm not recommending you do. Uh, no, no, I, I am recommending you do cardio. I'm not recommending skipping it is what I meant to say. But um, yeah, uh, holy shit, that is hard. Uh, 10 minutes of Stairmaster, I did... Uh, I did not use the handles, so I just kind of went raw. And that shit was really, really difficult. Honestly, I did not expect it to be that hard. Um, but yeah, solid workout overall, first day of the cut. Um, I think most of my lifts stayed pretty, pretty similar. I don't think I actually um, progressed or regressed on anything. I think I, I kind of hit like the exact same workout as I did usually. Um, in fact, this light I have in the car is kind of uh, impacting my driving ability. It's kind of hard to see. Maybe that's not really that smart, um, considering uh, it is pretty dark outside and I have my lights on. Solid workout for the first uh, first day of the cut. 
I'm out of breath. My heart is actually pounding so fast right now, and I literally did like 10 minutes of workout. That's actually embarrassing. Um, but yeah, I got a nice drive home. Uh, don't have too many calories to eat. I'm actually eating roughly 2,500 calories right now, or that is the plan to eat 2,500 cals so that I can lose weight. I think when I was bulking, I was eating like 4,500. 4, so slashing that down to 2,500, you know, it's a big deficit, but of course, uh, 2,500 is like a normal person diet. So that's not actually too bad. Um, but yeah, I definitely need to get a mic. I don't know if you guys like the, the voiceover that I do, obviously I haven't done it yet. I got to do it when I get home. Um, I got to put those clips together. Maybe I'll upload this tomorrow now that I think about it, just because it's already five o'clock. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. I'm not going to like edit it at all. I'm, I'm probably just going to throw the clips together and do like a, a, a no cut voiceover or something like that. But yeah, I guess we'll see how it turns out. The cardio after the lift uh, is not going to be fun for the next month. That's for sure. I think my, my legs were like on flare. Um, and I actually, I haven't squatted. I'll probably, I'll, I'll mention that in, in the next video when I actually train legs. Uh, and I'll explain what I'm doing for legs and uh, I'll explain what happened because uh, it's a little interesting for uh, interesting the story, I guess. But anyway, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you.